I was terrible in school, to be honest. Okay. I, <laughs> I had no interest in, in being in the classroom. I was probably quite disruptive. And so I always wanted to be outside. And in Dubai, I always wanted to be in the desert, playing in the sand. And so, yeah, being outdoors has been something, I guess, has been in my DNA, in my blood since, since an early age. And that's why having the gym and then having the endurance section of, of Inner Fight and getting people out here to enjoy themselves is probably what I spend at least 50% of my time doing. So you could say I've carved out a pretty much, well, a dream job. It's what I, it's what I want to do. I love to do anything here early morning, actually the whole day. I was gonna say early morning and, and, and late night, because sometimes we come out in the middle of the night. That, that brings a bit of a different challenge to things as well. But uh, yeah, mountain biking, road biking, running, running on hard pack trail. I think people get a bit lost sometimes in, in Dubai and you know, they've, they're like, oh, there's nothing to do with nature. And it's like, well, actually, this is 20 minutes away. But, you know, you just have to, it's like most things in life. If you go and have a look around, you'll pretty much find what you're looking for. It's just, you need to go and have a little look, so. I mean, how often do you come alone or do you sometimes come with a group and kind of just depend? Uh, I'll come up to Al Qudra probably two or three times a week as a group. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't need to train the mind, I'll come alone. And normally in the middle of the night. So there's certain things that I do here for, for my ultras to um, sort of train the mind a little bit and that needs to be alone and make the conditions a little bit harder. So pitch black when everyone's sleeping, but uh, I'm here pretty much three or four days a week. It's perfect. To be honest, this is the Dubai that I love. This is the Dubai that I knew as a kid when, when I came here in 1983. It was, it was just all desert. So this is how I know and how I love Dubai. And so it's probably no surprise I spent most of my life here. It's pretty unique out here. You can run, you can mountain bike. Road bike, camping, barbecues, walks in nature with friends. I love it. Amazing. So you were telling me that your family moved to Dubai in the 80s, right? Yeah, we arrived here in 1983, so just over 40 years ago. And it was a different place and, and, and a different challenge, but I think it's been amazing to see how the city's grown and I guess you could say having a business here, being part of that growth and just trying to make it a place, especially through our business, where people feel at home. And it's amazing to see how Dubai has made people feel at home. And we always thought we'd go back, or every two years we thought we'd go back. Yeah. But yeah, 40 years later, we're still here and, and, and have a home. And it's just an amazing place to live. Al Qudra first thing in the morning is amazing, but there's nothing quite like being here at my gym in a fight. I'm gonna have a look inside, have a coffee, and maybe even a workout. Welcome to Smith Street Cafe, just above the gym. This was actually the brainchild of my amazing wife, Holly. Here she is. Why don't you tell them what we're trying to achieve with the cafe? Hi, I'm Holly and I'm originally from Australia. So this is our little corner of Australia here in Dubai. Uh, we wanted to bring a really relaxed little coffee shop um, with great coffee, magics, flat whites and uh, healthy food. It's an integral part of the gym where people can meet after their classes, um, but it's not just for uh, the gym members, it's open to everybody in Dubai to come and experience a really good coffee. Yeah, Dubai is always growing and there's always little pockets and communities and with that comes different opportunities for, I think no matter what you want to do, you just have to find your area. We chose to relocate the gym in a, in a heavily, densely populated residential area, which is quite different from where we were but so far it's, it's working out good and we're able to take 
coffee and the cafe and, and fitness closer to people and make it more convenient. So she's obviously your life partner, but also your business partner. That must be pretty interesting. <laughs> yes. You think first. <laughs> it's not maybe as easy as I thought it would be, but we work through it and and you know we bring different things to the business. I'm not very emotional away. at all, <laughs> <laughs> which is a negative side. Holly is, and that's why. <laughs> She brings that emotion and that character and that creativity to, to the cafe and maybe where it needs to be a bit more serious downstairs in the gym and about performance, I can deliver that. And just seeing people meet friends that, um, so they're like-minded, they're into fitness, they're into healthy food, yeah. um, you know, they're, they're all getting up early, that sort of thing. And then you see them develop friendship groups and then next thing they're, going on holidays together or you know barbecue and going for dinners um, and it, it is really nice to watch that develop mm -hmm. and uh, everyone come together like that yeah it's great Marcus, after all of this, what continues to motivate you? There's really three things that, that motivate me. I think I was probably given a second chance and a second chance to understand how my body and my mind works and really what my potential is. That's a real motivating factor. The second thing that continues to motivate me is all these situations that we create, whether it's daily, whether it's out in the desert at Al Qudra, are incredible learning experiences. And the third and final thing that motivates me is my family. My mom and my dad and my wife support me incredibly well in everything I want to do. In 2009, I chose to leave the corporate world and make Inner Fight my life. And they simply said, yes, that's a good idea. So surround yourself with a good bunch of people and you can do some pretty cool things.